Do not touch SOLIDWORKS before you watch this video. I'm going to bet that after watching this video, about five minutes, you're gonna save back hours of time in 2025 and every year after that, you are modeling with SOLIDWORKS. What's the bet? I'm going to bet that I'm going to model this coaster a lot faster than you and we're going to time ourselves. I'm gonna do that two times. First time with the conventional methods without using any shortcuts, any mouse gestures or any hat tricks. You would see my hand on the keyboard at all times as well as my mouse. I'm not gonna use my space mouse just to keep it fair because not everybody is using that so we're gonna stick to these two forget about the mug it's just to show you that what this coaster this is a coaster just to clarify this is the coaster we have we're gonna end up with the mass of 33.28 grams without applying any materials to this model it has a bunch of steps that I will walk you through and I want you to open your SOLIDWORKS with me and do it alongside with me once we did the conventional method and you realize what are the steps and the dimensions, you could go ahead, pause this video and try to repeat it as many times as you want. A lot of you might say, hey, you have done this more than once and you're right, I've done it more than once. You could practice two, three, 10 times, 20 times, as much as you're comfortable, then come up with the fastest method you can model this and I still bet I will still beat you. Because I've seen a lot of people, even CSWP and above, who are struggling to use the shortcuts in SOLIDWORKS the right way. And you might think, so what, you're fast? Fast speed is everything. Let's talk about the steps that we are going to do this right i'm gonna put the time on the screen and you're gonna have to do it exactly the way i do it because it has to be a center rectangle not a corner rectangle these two sides should be equal so you might want to assign two times of 70 or you want to hold control key down and make them go equal up to you you rebuild this then we need to create a new plane at the distance of 12 millimeter behind it then we're gonna draw a circle again with the diameter of 70 rebuild it go i'm working rather fast with this convention so i'm not wasting time loft but i'm just clicking on every tool that i see on the menu shell leave it at 10 only on the back click ok then we're going to select this surface go to fill it Set it to one, click OK. One is good. Then again, we won't fill it. This edge, this edge, this, and this. All five, click OK. I'm not doing it slow. This surface, chamfer, five, OK. Again, this surface, fill it. Five, OK. This surface, draw a sketch, draw a circle, diameter 50. See, I'm rather fast for this conventional method, but I'm not the fastest I can be. Then extrude cut, use this, go down five, and I think time. So evaluate 33, 28, right? So you got the steps, don't worry. I'm gonna recap it one more time. From the top, we draw a 70 by 70 center square or rectangle. And then we offset a plane at 12 millimeters. On the second plane, we draw a circle, diameter 70. We do loft. After we perform the loft, we shell the surface on the back with the value of 10. We perform a fillet on this surface with a value of one millimeter. Then we perform fillet with a value of five on the four edges around it. Then we perform a chamfer with a value value of five on the surface on the top. And again, following that, we perform another fillet with a value of five, again, on the surface on the top. And we finish it off by drawing a circle with a diameter of 50 millimeters and extrude cutting it five millimeters into the coaster. So this is the coaster we have. The time is on the screen. Now I am going to do the fastest way I can do this. I have done this, no lie, six or seven times. If you can do it 10 times, 20 times, practice. And if you can beat me, you may comment it below. Then I would take you up for it, okay? You're gonna have to email me, we go live, I will record you. And if you cannot beat me, I will publish it in public. <laughs> <laughs> but I do hope, I want you to beat me, okay? This is the point of this video. Pause the video, go do it yourself, time yourself, come back here and watch me do it. On your mark, ready, go! Seventy, on the side. Front plane, 12. Draw a new sketch, circle, diameter 70, click OK, loft, from here to here, OK, shell, 10, OK, fillet, 1, OK, 
another fillet here, here, and all four at five. Okay, I said five, not 51. And chamfer, five, okay. Another fillet, five, okay. One circle here, diameter 50, okay. Extrude cut, this, five, down at time. How fast was it? Do I get 33.28? I do get 33.28. So why was I able to do it this many seconds? I doubt it was more than a minute. So how did I do it? Now I'm going to break down how I did it. Then once you see how fast you can work compared to what you did, I want you to start adopting my method and pay attention to the keyboard shortcut and mouse shortcut, mouse gestures, and do it in the same way I did it, okay? Like bam, bam, bam. That's what I want for you. Let's just do it one more time from the top. When I draw a rectangle, I use mouse gesture. Right click down, but it gives me a corner rectangle. I want the center. So I do this, I press A on the keyboard to convert these types on the left and then go to center rectangle. I can select these two by holding the control key down, but instead I do a box select from right to left. Why don't I do it from left to right? Because it gives me nothing. I have to go all the way and that's not what I want. So right to left, select these two, click on equal. And if this box is away, press shift on the keyboard quickly to bring it back. And then one more time, a couple of, couple of escapes, you know, and then right click up to activate smart dimension 70. Okay. Control Q to get rid of the sketch, rotate it a little bit, front plane, hold control key down, drag it to duplicate it. 12, click, click. Okay. Sketch. Right click to the right, mouse gesture for a circle, right click to the top, mouse gesture for a smart dimension, 70, okay, control Q out, right click top for loft, select these two, click okay, right click down for shell, click here, click okay, right click to southwest, for fillet, set it to one, click okay, again fillet to the left, click these two, five, and then I forgot to select the other two. I lost some time, but it's okay. Select the top surface, click chamfer. It does not have a mouse gesture. You can assign to it. I haven't. Again, feel it. You can do it this way too. Select, sketch, circle was right click to the right. Here, smart dimension was right click to the top. Here, 50, row, control Q, and left four. You see this? This is extrude cut, select it five and then click okay so how do you set up your mouse gesture that's easy too right click here go to customize find mouse gesture first define how many gestures you want and you want eight you don't want less you don't want more my sincere recommendation if you go to 12 it's too hard to pick them you have to have very very fine hand gestures it's not worth it. And on top of that, you don't need that many features regularly. So eight is fine. And there are four different mods for a mouse gesture. During sketching, during part, so loft and everything is here as long as I'm not in an active sketching mode. Because if I go right click to the top, it gives me smart dimension when there is an active sketching mode. But if I'm outside of it by pressing control Q as I did so many times, I would go to this circle. Similarly, if I'm in an assembly mode or drawing mode, I get different wheels. So right click to the top, uh, right click to the right, bottom and left. Line, smart dimension, circle. You know what? Um, it's smart dimension. I don't remember. Circle. I don't remember. Probably center line or something. Uh, rectangle, trim, line, and probably tangential line. Oh, feel it. Oh yeah, that was feel it. And I never use sketch. Right. So make sure you set it up the way you want it. This is the only thing I have customized big time because on default, you get the views, you know, front view, top view, side view. That's not what I want. I want to use features that I use typically. And I put the boss features on the right and try to do the cuts to the left side of the wheel, but you can do it the way you want it. If you don't use loft a lot, put, I don't know, a different feature there. There are so many. Use the ones that use regular and put it on the wheel and try to practice doing it. Try to do it all the time. Try to create a center rectangle. The rectangle, press A, center rectangle, done. Rectangle, center rectangle, press, press A, done. Circle, done. Line, done. If you wanna cut it, cut it, done. If you wanna fillet the corners, do it, done. It's as fast as this. You don't have to go, oh, change the tab. Oh, find the feature. Oh, click here. Do it quickly. It makes all the difference. Now, did you beat me? 
I bet you didn't, but I hope some of you did, or I hope even further that you start to adopt these techniques. And if you want to learn a lot more tips and tricks like this, just check out my course. I'm not gonna say anything more. The link to my course with over 1700 students by now, happy students, is in the description below this video. Officially approved by SolarWorks, you can find the link below, go check it out, and you can write me an email if you have any questions, info at solidworkstutorials.net. I will be answering your questions directly. I hope this video was helpful. In the next video, I will be teaching you some tricks for the sheet metal module because I've noticed a lot of you are not taking advantage of that either. Until then, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.